Well, the morning of 9-11 seemed to be a pretty normal morning. Uh, we started off, we did our first flight. In the morning they have flights that are called kickoff flights. And we worked our first trip and then there was an off schedule, uh, a flight canceled or a crew got tied up somewhere. So that's when we got um, assigned to flight 11. At the time we were on a very, very company imposed on time departure kick. I mean, everything absolutely positively had to leave on time. The last bags come through and we get the final bag sheet. That means that we can now lock the airplane up meaning that we're ready to go on the ground. And there were two transfer bags from um, U.S. Airways that had come from Portland, Maine. And I looked at the name underneath it, it just had the letter M slash A-T-T-A, M Ada. We had a little bit of a discussion and my decision was that I'm going to follow the rules that the company has instituted and it's 10 minutes before departure, I can't take any more bags and open up the aircraft. So what I did was I just refused the bags. Well, after the jet bridge pulls off, now the aircraft is ready to be dispatched, which is being pushed off into a taxiway. And the guy on the headset said, you're, you know, basically you're all set. The plane is yours. The guy grabs the pin out of the plane, which was myself. The pilot, John Aganowski, happened to be from my town that I live in. And, you know, I knew of him but I never actually met him. I can clearly remember him waving his hand and waving me off after I saluted him.